breaking news. And tonight that breaking news is out of Richmond. We're following two shootings tonight, one of them taking the life of a 15-year-old boy. And just five minutes earlier, a separate shooting that left a young girl and a man injured. AJ Nwoko joining us live after talking with officials about this latest string of violence. AJ, have police made any arrests? Uh, no, Kurt. Unfortunately, there have been no arrests made. This is the fifth deadly shooting investigation since Easter Sunday. The victims all involving uh, victims that were 21 years old or younger. And so far, no arrests have been made in this time. Another violent day in what has been a deadly week in Richmond. Late Thursday afternoon, two shootings in the span of five minutes on opposite sides of town. The first happened around 4.40 p.m., where police rushed to the 1600 block of Pollock Street to find two shooting victims, a man and a girl. At this time, police have only confirmed that both were rushed to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. We spoke to a man who witnessed it. He tells me that the man was shot in the shoulder while the girl was shot in the hand. Five minutes later, a second shooting, this time deadly. Police were called to the 2300 block of Afton Avenue, where a 15-year-old was found shot in the street. He was rushed to the hospital, where he later died. Police Chief Gerald Smith says this is the fifth shooting death investigation in Richmond since Easter. The death investigations that we're looking at this week, uh, all the victims are 21 years of age and younger and they're all gun violence. The chief saying it will take outside of the box thinking to curb these violent crimes. These kids have been inside for over a year and they're restless and it's starting to show. And I think that it is just the, the responsibility of a city and a community and society to come together to come to find something that we can do to help these kids. And that Afton Avenue shooting, police say they are working to get their hands on surveillance video, which they hope may lead to an arrest. But in the meantime, they need help from the community to fill in the gaps in these shooting investigations. They're asking anyone with information to call 780-1000. But for now, live and on your side in Richmond, AJ Nwoko, NBC 12. Thanks, AJ. And the gun violence today. Not